back on the hunt for just trying to rate all as many Mario Mario levels as I can. Let me get another one from here. Eventually, we gotta find a stinker. Am I right or am I right? B A O F. And I should probably plug this while people are still here, but again, the reason I'm doing this stream is a Mario Ma a YouTuber has a Mario Maker series. Is pretty much has decided that they're going to be putting the series on what I would consider an indefinite hiatus real soon. And I wanted to make use out their site before they stopped making videos. I always wanted to contribute to rating the levels of Morning Mario, but I always put it off because it was a game on the Wii U and I just didn't play too much on the Wii U in general. So I'm making up for that here. Remember right when I said we would get a stinker eventually? Mario Bros. Mining Company does not assure me too well that it's something we're going to be anytime soon. Now I gotta remember, a hard level is not a bad level. But a hard level is hard. Okay, to be fair, it get, didn't get hard yet, and if this is where everyone dies, then I got nothing to worry about. I kind of see what they're going for with the mining theme, but only because I played Donkey Kong Country, and this is exactly what some of the mining levels look like in that game. Well, not look, but feel. It's, this is pretty much going to be the gimmick of the whole thing, isn't it? Okay, and P block kind of makes me put go on a time limit. But I kind of get the feeling that if I place myself just right, I could cheese that out a little bit. I remember when I said that this was going to be a hard level. Well, no, I'm not going to say anything because I could be a little too soon. Alright, there's the key. Derp. Okay, I gotta admit, I'm impressed that I have not found a completely terrible level yet. There's been hard levels, yes. There's been... What do I want to say when I don't want to say hard? Cr levels full of critical thinking, we'll go with that. But nothing that just seems like... Well, there might be that second level we got. That seemed a little obtuse. But then I realized it's pretty much because I was overthinking it and did in a way that the creator probably didn't intend. So even that one wasn't too bad. Okay, I think. I keep forgetting that this level doesn't have a checkpoint system. So, I might be backtracking a little bit more. I might think that I'm in the wrong room. Or my memory might be a little... Iffy at best. Okay, I get back over here, jump over here, and... Repeat my actions, because... As words, when you can see them on screen, because that totally makes for engaging commentary. Even the best of us are guilty of it, I suppose. Oh, I see what they were doing with this. A little too late. Hmm. I don't know why. I should give it a fair shot and try to beat it to the end, but... I also kind of want to move on to another level. Mm, I just not for any particular reason, because... This is definitely an interesting concept, and I like what they're going for. But I guess the fact that I just have to keep doing each segment over and over again, if I mess up once, is a little bit unappealing. I guess that's why I'm temp keep feeling tempted to just move on to the next one. Because I feel like I got the gist of the level, 
I feel like I'm not really missing out on anything if I just skip it and move onwards, though, either. Still, it does keep on getting interesting each door I go through. It's definitely a well-designed level. It's because it is progressively getting more challenging as I go through. Okay. That now is a little bit interesting because I actually have to jump. Man, I wish this was this had checkpoints though. Really wish this had at least a halfway point. Though I'll be a little bit disappointed in myself if it does have a halfway point, but I just haven't gotten to it yet. You think like one of the Mario Maker updates would have allowed a feature where you could make a save point for every door you go through? Something like that would be perfect for this level if I had to be honest. Not sure if the designer of the level would actually implement it if something like that was in the game, but... Oh man, I almost screwed that up. Unfortunately, we have to wait for things to come back up. So, how are you guys doing? I'm just going to use this opportunity to rehydrate myself. Yeah, it wasn't going to work unless I was on this platform. There's no way to get over the other one. At least no obvious way. Maybe I could do a well-timed spin jump or something. I just hope that that illegalling didn't cost me because fixed time limit or something. But it looks like they try to give me as much time as possible, so I don't think that'll be the case. Mm, let's see. And go down here. Get the key. I like how these levels have levels like this have extra live options because you don't really get too many oppor most of the time when you're just playing levels lives are pointless but if you're like doing a 100 mario run challenge oh that's pretty fabulous i didn't even get halfway well i guess i'm glad i decided to stick through but as i was gonna say i like the fact that they throw extra lives your way Because it gives you a reason to do a little bit extra. Go a little bit out of your way. Have like a normal option, but also a challenge option. My bad. I should not have died there. And I just felt like I had slippy juice or something. Like Probably because I'm playing with the control stick and not the control pad. I, w I did start with the control pad, but I forgot where my thumb was and it just magically moved up to the control stick as I was playing just cause that's what it's used to. I'm sorry. Also did I really not grab the mushroom? Was I really- did I really do a dumb and forget to grab the mushroom? And I like how it's unintentionally harder the second time around because you don't have the coins to remind you where to stand. I doubt that was intentional, but it's a nice touch and I like it. No. I hate to keep bringing up my sound settings, but... It is something I... I am going to keep experimenting with streaming to make... Sure, the quality keeps getting better and better. And something I wanted to try for this stream, just to assure myself. Because I knew that I was going to have issues with the mic because I couldn't get it close enough to my face. I wonder if I missed my chance because I got didn't go down right away. But as I was saying... I had an old headset back from the old days of less playing that I kind of just downgraded to or upgraded in theory to this microphone 
later on. I thought I still had the headset somewhere around here, and with the headset, I don't think the sound quality would be as good, but I could actually keep it up to my face. So, this situation where, that I'm in where I can't get the mic close enough to my face for you guys to hear me well enough about feeling like I'm shouting every five seconds, but still keeping a pleasant non-shouting tone wouldn't be an issue if it was right next to my face so I think unfortunately I wasn't able to find the headset I thought I just had it buried in my room somewhere but that wasn't the case it did not I hope I didn't throw it out or anything like that I know I didn't sell it or anything I'm just going to take a leap of faith was a bad idea, but I'm impatient and I just want to get done with this quicker. Oh, forgot about that pillar. Yeah, no, this is definitely going to be the last level I'm going to do because it's 1030. Wasn't expecting to play Mario Maker this long, honestly. I thought I was like, maybe going to do half an hour, an hour at most, of Mario Maker, and then spend some time with Mario Party to unlock my favorite character. But here we are, an hour and a half into the stream, still playing Mario Maker. Just goes to show you the fun and wonder that awaits in this game. And honestly, the MoriMario.com site just makes it all so much more enjoyable. I'm really glad I decided to do it that way and I got green and tried to go for the life. Okay. Problem is every time I go back down I got re-renumber that these pillars come out and try to destroy me. Ah shoot. Are they really range sensitive? Did I miss my chance to actually get to it that time because I outranged it or something. Okay, can I get the key without dying? Not sure if you could do it without those spikes being in the way, but they or the blocks in the way, but it certainly helped. Second set of checkpoints. Oh man. Call me just impatient. But this level's going on a little bit too long for my liking. I can't complain though, because they bring something new and interesting every time. Oh man, I really want that mushroom now. But I think I have to be on the other side in order to get to it. And I'll admit, I'm afraid. I'm very afraid right now. At least I didn't seem to do anything bad. Can I make it over to the platform over here? There. <laughs> there, carefully I can. But now I gotta make it back. Without getting hit. I don't know what this does, but I feel like it's important. Okay. It'd, be, it'd help if I could actually see up. Okay, four out of the five red coins. Watch this not even be important. It is important. I need it to get to that last red coin. It was worth the hit, after all. Okay, just gotta be very careful coming back up. Oh man, this is a really scary section of the level. Though I do forget that you can actually, like, fall and not just have to jump all the time. Unfortunately, I don't see how I'm supposed to get over to where the key is. Um. No, that's set to the spikes, not... Oh, man, I was hoping I could go down the pipe or something. Uh.
Not sure what I'm overlooking. I definitely feel like I'm overlooking something, though. Do I just really gotta go for it? There may be just barely enough room. If I could get a running start confidently! Yeah, I just had to have faith in myself. <laughs> Is this it? No, it's not it! It's not it! It is not it! Is this it? I don't know, it's going way too slow. Is it? Well, that was anticlimactic. Come on, I wanted to at least get high. Not in that sense. Whatever, I'll just take the fact that I beat it. So. I can't even complain about the checkpoint system. Because, honestly, those checkpoints were pretty well suited once I got past the easy part. I just didn't realize it was the easy part at the time. And I'm personally starting this. And, no. I'm just going to give it a 5 star rating. So, that... I'm going to call it there with Mario Maker. Not sure if I want to switch over to Super Mario Party because it'll take a. I have to switch some cables around. I'm not sure how long that would take. And it is almost 10 30 already. You know what? Now we're. It's a long. An hour's a long time for me, as is. And I'll admit I'm kind of fighting a head cold a little bit, so that might be affecting my voice a little, or why I constantly feel dry when I'm talking, besides just talking so much. So I think I'll end it here. I'm still, like, experimenting with what the most optimum stream schedule is, but since I decided to make Pokemon Fireside Chat a live stream only once a month and do audio podcasts the other days, I might just stream Mario Party tomorrow evening. Similar time of 9 o'clock. We'll see how I feel. In the meantime, you can always hit the follow button, and that'll give you an email notification when I go live. And if you have a Twitter account, you can follow me there at JacketStuff, J-A-C-K-I-T, with some stuff at the end. And even though I retweet various stuff and make miscellaneous tweets, I do always make sure that I at least tweet before going live, so that gives you an option as well. I also have a website, which I'll try to link in the chat here. If you don't have a Twitter, I recommend bookmarking that and at least checking out the homepage because what I'm trying to do is have a certain setup. What I'm trying to do is go on the homepage, keep the homepage edited to reflect my current schedule and if something has changed on that there's a Google Calendar below the schedule where you can see the exact details of what I'm doing on what days I'm trying to be a bit better with that and post keep it updated and all but I do get a busy life so I do admit I sometimes fall behind on that so ideally, Twitter's like your best way to keep track of what I'm doing. Following me on Twitch is probably the S tier best. But the website is a good option if you don't have a Twitter account as well. Because on top of that, it has links to all the other online activities I do. So if you like, if you like this, you can check the site and see if I do something similar that you like. 
or if you're more interested in cosplays or Pokemon Go, I have tabs to go to the various types of content and information of when I do either the streams or upload the videos. I think that's all the plugging I got in me. <laughs> and yep, that's all the plugging the chat has too, because everyone is gone. Like, they probably left as soon as they heard me spell out my Twitter. <laughs> I asked if we would want to do a raid, but one, everyone left. Two, not too many people are streaming. Like, if we had people around still, I know who I would want to raid, but since the viewership is gone, I'm just going to call it here. Anyone watching the VOD, thank you all for tuning in, and... Hope to see you for the next one. This went pretty well, so maybe I'll sneak another Mario Maker stream in uh, before the Morning Mario series ends. Hmm.